before Xenium, there were in-situ methods, but they were super finicky, super prone to failure. I petting by hand, imaging, hand aligning, hand registering every image, quite literally living next to the microscope. That's what we don't want for scientists to have to do. Time is valuable, repeatability is valuable. We went and looked for international talent. We brought together experts in the field. Uh, wherever they were, we brought them in. Optical engineering and fluidics engineering and mechanical engineering and chemistry and molecular biology and software that runs efficiently. A lot of the team members never saw each other face to face for many, many months or even years. You're experiencing an issue trying to get all the pieces to integrate together. Five of us stuck around until I believe 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning trying to troubleshoot this. And, you know, we were on the floor disassembling parts and disassembling computers. The very first data that came off was astounding. And then after maybe six to nine months of development, we were routinely generating high quality data. I think the most excited we were as a team is when a first customer ran it on their own. They got beautiful data just off the bat. It looked gorgeous and we were like, wow, yes, it really does work straight out of the box. The ease of use and the quality, how casually they say, oh yeah, we ran this six times and we're very happy, casually. And this is exactly what we had in mind. There's this immediate recognition that what the Xenium data provides you has not been seen before. Xenium is gonna be a game changer for any research that was traditionally done with just pathology or histology. The number one excitement is how this technology can be utilized to help human beings expand our understanding of our biology. And that can link to a lot of discovery in the clinical space, which can help improve human beings' health.